Asmongold cancelled again. I wonder what he blatantly misrepresented or lied about this time. Um, I did get cancelled again. A lot of people are angry. Uh, Casey Tron. A lot of you guys probably don't know who that is. Most people don't. She used to be Good start, Asmongold. Call all smaller creators than you garbage irrelevant trash that do not even have the right to speak your name. Big. True. Be a streamer a long time ago, and ever since she fell off about 10 years ago, her entire existence on the internet has been dedicated to being hostile and negative about other people. And so she goes and she makes a tweet today about me. And so she goes, she's like, Asmongold hates himself more than we ever could. Just like his lifestyle, there's nothing to be said. Just asking man, um, they could ever make him change his filthy, putrid ways. Just a real stinker. I respond. Well, say what you will. She got, she got a t tweet trending way more than Asmongold ever could. On back, I say, you're fat and you spend your life smoking weed and doing drugs. If anyone's a stinker, it's you. I don't know. What do you think actually uh, reeks worse? Asmongold's home and himself or Casey Tron, the perpetual weed smoker? Man, this is, this is a hard battle. We are really fighting the lowest scum of society versus the lowest scum of society. But... You know what Casey Tron should have done? She should have retaliated. At least I have a dad. <laughs> I don't know. She probably did, doesn't have a dad if I think about it. But, you know, it would have been hilarious if Casey Tron, of all fe uh, people, had a father figure been growing out while Asmongold did not. That's true. And I'm not insulting her. It's just a... This is just an observation. She is fat. And if you're fat... I mean, isn't this the... By your own words, the greatest insult that you can give a woman because she's not good looking enough? Oof. That you sweat more. And if you sweat more, you're gonna smell bad more. Why she even attack you? Because her entire existence of the internet is built off of complaining and talking shit about other people. Nobody likes her, and so the only thing that she can do to make people like her is hopefully make people dislike somebody else more than they dislike her. Excuse me. Sounds like he's a professional in her life at this point. Huh, that's interesting. Or maybe he's just, again, creating a position for a person. I don't know, pick one at this point, who cares? Money is financial freedom. Freedom having the ability to choose what you want to do as much as possible. Why are you mad that he lives the way that he wants to? You have- Well, first of all, he probably lies about the way that he lives. Asmongold has stated multiple times that he's surviving with like 2 or 3k a month, which is blatantly a lie. <laughs> if you even just go look up the average costs of living in Texas. So, you know. I have a lot of money too, yet you are overweight and choose to smoke weed all the time. Respect people's choices, lady. Casey Tron has talked a lot of shit about me over the years. For a very, very... Who hasn't? For a long time, I've had the policy of not ever, like, responding back to people. Hell or yeah, he's gonna start giving his opinions, boys. This is where we get the good stuff. This is where fun Asmongold actually starts, because his opinions are super stupid. And things that are... Well, let's see what he says. He... I, I saw a bunch of tweets uh, yesterday. Well, by, by bunch, I mean two tweets. Oh, he is looking at Twitter. Maybe this is gonna be it. And... Uh, this is it. Oh no, this is the Hassan thing. Oh, no, this is it. Oh, this one's a funny one. Like, uh, mean back to people? We are getting rid of that policy. I'm bored of, of, of sitting here and being a punching bag. Especially by clowns like this. An example of what Casey Tron did is that back whenever Casey Tron was not a completely irrelevant streamer, and she was- Okay, attacking her personality instead of her argument? Using her cleavage Classic. on stream to attract views. This was in like, probably like about 10 years ago. Guess what happened? Well, my ex-girlfriend Izzy, Pink Sparkles, came on and every- Uh, the only fans girl that he pretty much paid to be his girlfriend that took- That became his girlfriend after because of the fame. Divorced- well, not divorced him. He was never married as much as I know. Who left him, and then he spent two or three years constantly texting her, wishing to get her back, while she instantaneously found 
a little Chad, by the way, and got pregnant by him. <laughs> Bro, if I was you, I would not even say that I had an ex-girlfriend, okay? I, I would I would just kind of try to swipe that one under the rug. Everybody started watching her instead. Now, why did everybody start watching Pink Sparkles instead of Casey Tron? Because she's a bigger whore? I think everybody knows why. So Casey Tron talked mad shit about Izzy constantly. Perpetuated a lie that she was a viewbotter. And wouldn't back down on it. I mean, who knows? Maybe she was. I have no idea. But a lot of people on Twitch are viewbotters. That's how you be uh, become, in a lot of cases, a popular streamer. You viewbot. Because that's smart. For years until finally she got confronted recently and apologized in DMs to it for, uh, to Izzy. This is like two years ago. The point is that I think Casey Tron- Okay, so you're telling me, what, what, what did that teach us about Casey Tron? That she's a person that made a mistake and then lived up to her mistake and apologized? Is that supposed to be, like, a bad description? Bruh, you're actually selling KC Tron of all people in a positive light here. <laughs> That's impressively sad. ...is disgusting. She is a disgusting person. She fell off over 10 years ago, and the only relevance that she will ever have is being a bottom feeder and farming people that somehow hate another person more than they hate her. Don't you do the same? Arguably, yes. Not even arguably, definitely, yes. And to be honest, guys, I don't want to say anything more about it. Okay. Because the truth is that at the end of the day, I'm still me and she's still her. And that's. I mean, I don't know, honestly, if any one of you here is a winner because you are you. Worse than anything that I could ever say. Casey Tron under fire for liking tweet blaming Asmongold's lifestyle for his mom's death. Doesn't he himself blame uh, blame himself for his mom's death that he was too weak? I I remember him, say, uh, he, him saying that, man, I couldn't take her cigarettes even though I should have blah, 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 because something like that, health issues. Doesn't he actually do that though? Here we go. So I guess this is today. That tweet, it says, thankfully, XQC's lifestyle hasn't led directly to the death of mm. one of his parents yet. So he has that going for him over Asmin, at least. I'll admit, I did like that tweet. And <laughs> I, oh. I have a lack of respect for Asmin Gold after letting his mom with COPD live in those sort of conditions. What is COPD? I'm sorry. Like, you're a millionaire. COPD chronic. COPD chronic. I don't know. You have all of the resources in the world. Why is your sick mother living like mm -hmm. that? Like, I'll say it. That is a good question. I don't care if that makes me a bad person. Okay. Still miles above of Asmongold. <laughs> miles above Asmongold. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Wow, this actually is going pretty deep. I did not expect... I did not expect something like this. I expected yesterday's tweets. Like, I have Ooh. literally fraction of the income and i take better care of my parents than that Ooh. and i don't have anywhere near well i mean why would asmongold take care of his parents if his parents didn't take care of him close the resources that he yes, I bro did. imagine your parents let your teeth rot out because it's just not worth trying to tell you that's bad jesus that is that is pretty harsh. I will admit that is definitely pretty harsh. Like that should take better care of yourself, and if that's the case, that's his big comeback. Should have cared. <laughs> Damn. Now okay. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. This doesn't really offend me. It doesn't, and the reason why it doesn't really offend me is because you don't care about anything. Is is that gonna be it? Because I know that she doesn't know what she's talking about. She doesn't really know what she's saying. She's just... When in doubt, the other person doesn't know anything. They're being emotional, not logical like Asmongold. Okay, so explain. Please explain. What is she, what is she wrong about and why she's wrong about it? She's saying this because I have said something to be mean to her. This does not hurt my feelings. Ah, 
There we go. You see? You see? She's just being emotional, boys. But I have been called as being through logic itself, the reincarnation of logic. <laughs> Great stuff. This doesn't, you know, like, get me upset. It's malicious, though. It is. I, I would say that you look pretty fucking upset, though, honestly. So, I, yeah, that's obviously a lie. Anytime someone attacks him, you can visibly see him be a little bit more on edge and angry and, you know, a little bit less of that blank stare. It's malicious. She's a disgusting person, and she always will be. I don't- I mean, who cares if it's malicious? Again, are you gonna- are you gonna ever engage with what we- what she's saying? Uh, are you gonna ever answer the question, why- why- why did your mom live in fucking filth? Well, you could have made her not live in fucking filth. How about just answering that simple question? And please don't let the answer be, well, because she wanted to live like a trash subhuman. Because that's a shitty answer, okay? Like attacking people. I also, is his was his mom mentally retarded? Serious question, by the way. Was she? Because she almost blew herself up, smoking a cigarette near an open oxygen tank. You know, oxygen tanks, the things that can explode or catch on fire? Yeah, those ones. You know the ones that have giant labels on them that they explode if they are uh, close to an open flame? Yeah, that one. So, I mean, the he is trash. That's undoubtable. I only respond to people who attack me. I don't go out of my way and go and personally and You didn't respond to anything that she said, though. Assault people or anything like this. But if they do it to me, I will do it back. I do genuinely believe that bad things do happen to bad people. And so whenever I see somebody saying this, I think it's just a matter of time. And whenever mm. it inevitably happens, I will be there to laugh call me out if i am attacking somebody who didn't attack me but i don't i saw tweets about it where you're misrepresenting people's opinions i think that's going to happen a whole lot you know especially on a personal level and and also by the way obviously there was like a big conversation and the reason why casey tron tweeted this out uh there, there is a reason for it uh besides the fact that she probably needs impressions to make money uh, the other reason was because I had said on stream yesterday that I thought that standing in a road was not an effective way of protesting for Palestine. I, I thought this was counterproductive. I don't think it really helps anybody. Um, obviously, a lot of the Twitter oh, oh, revolutionaries time. love to, uh, you know, they love to act like, you know, this is some big yep, thing. Yep, this is the one. Thing and they're, you know, changing the world, etc. Uh, so there we go. Uh, you are not protesting for Palestine by preventing a minimum wage worker from getting to work on time. Get out of the road. That's what I said. Fair enough. And so obviously a lot of these people are, um, you know, these are people who have no problems in life. These are people who live in first world countries, in the safest countries in the world, in the safest time absolutely irrelevant what if these people are sitting in the road because they don't want uh, american taxpayer dollars to go towards israel what then the, uh, this argument doesn't work in that case i'm in history that are trying desperately to warp as if they are anything even similar to the civil rights movement you are not e ah yes this this is the one i read this and this was absolutely hilarious would you have said the same thing during the civil rights movement? And then Asmongold uh, spurgs out completely. What a ridiculous and self-serving oversimplification of implying the civil rights movement was successful because people stood in the streets. First of all, again, that is completely not this person has said. And this is the problem with Asmongold. This is why he is the Joe Rogan of the poor and stupid. Because you can't just simplify a situation like protesters what is happening in palestine and israel and whatnot to just oh stop sitting in the road because people get annoyed by it because if you simplify it to that level then you have absolutely no choice but to say yeah they should not have protested on roads during uh, the civil rights movement 
because that's what you have boiled it down to. People get annoyed that they can't use the street, so it's bad. Your answer here can only be, yeah, they shouldn't have protested in the streets because it annoys people. Because otherwise, w what are you going to do? When the civil rights movement happened, there were people for it, there were people against it, there were people who did not give a shit, and there were people who were annoyed that they can't use the road while the roads were blocked. It is literally the same thing if you simplify it, oh, people are annoyed that they can't use the road. Man, again, the title of the Joe Rogan of the Poor and Stupid is so, so well deserved here, Asmongold. And again, what a ridiculous self-serving... He didn't claim any of this. He just asked you a simple question that you completely ignored because your answer should be yes, considering what you said previously. And if you make an exception for it, that means that your argument needs to go deeper than, you know, people just being on the road. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Asmongold has not actually stated does he think Israel is in the wrong in general, or is Palestine in the wrong in general? He's just being offensive and saying, oh, bombing civilians bad. War. Bad. Children dying. Get, get, get this, get this. Bad. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing he says, and Dodge is actually choosing a side or saying which, sh which side should be better, because he doesn't know about it enough. Bullshit. Buzz, you are standing in the street. You are harassing random people. You're not protesting injustice, you're protesting somebody going to McDonald's. That's your opinion. If the people are standing in the streets because uh, they are protesting U.S. taxpayer dollars going to Israel in support of this, or, by the way, whichever side they're actually going for this, then their protest is justified because it's actually towards America, not Israel or whatever. So, it does make sense. And considering America is sending dollars and that's what they what they are protesting to, this is actually completely justified. This is, in fact, exactly like the civil rights movement in, in those terms, if you want to be that stupid about it. Any time that I see somebody do that, they don't actually believe that it's okay to break the law and protest. The only reason why they are saying it is because it's being said in a way it's, it, sorry, the protest is for something they agree with. They don't agree with the principle. They just want to get what they want, and they don't care how it happens. By saying that they don't agree with the principle, but then you write a millisecond later saying they don't care how it happens, you make, uh, you make them not care in general. It's not breaking the law. You think that standing in the middle of the street and obstructing traffic isn't breaking the law? Uh, if you... I know this is, I think, different for each state in America, but if you actually give heads up to the local uh, municipality, government, or whatever the hell it's called, uh, it's completely legal to do that. Why don't you go out there and do it? And also, it's clearly not illegal until you get arrested. Not getting arrested, guess it's legal. And see what happens. Go ahead, go find out. Fuck around and find out. And at the end of the day, I will support any time that the police come and remove these people and or arrest them. A lot of people say it's the most effective way of protesting. Is that false? Is it the most effective way of protesting? I think that it can be if the focus of the protest can be linked directly to what they're protesting for. So, for example, and I, I think that sometimes it is some... I think it can be very directly linked to the fact that people are unhappy with the U.S. giving money to one or the other side to do bad things. Pretty, pretty direct link, in my opinion. Sometimes it's not. This is an example of it completely not being it. So, for example, with a lot of civil rights huh? protests, they were protesting directly the laws. Okay. So, for example, uh, it was like, you know, you can't be at the front of the bus. So a person goes, like, Rosa Parks sits at the front of the bus. It's not like people are just out there randomly causing, causing riots and shit like that. Now, obviously, that happened during civil rights, 
But I think the most powerful protests of civil rights, okay. the ones that we remember, are the ones that were directly protesting the laws that they were protests for. And so whenever you- I don't know about you, but I don't remember any of that. Neither probably does he. You go and you stand in the road because of a war that's 6,000 miles away and you block some random minimum wage worker from getting to work on time. And then you try to hijack that you, you try to, um, you know, kidnap th th their life because they don't have any empathy for your problem. Why the fuck would they have any empathy for your problems whenever you're the one who's ruining? Again, the way he's explaining this, you can give these perspectives to pretty much every perspective that he said is wrong here in this case can be given uh, given the uh, given a perspective in the civil rights movement. Y you can one for one these so easily. Now, are they the same? Obviously not. But Asmongold would never actually have a way to explain how they're different. <laughs> His argument is purely based on the idea that one is stupid because he doesn't like it and the other one succeeded, so that means it's good. Winning their life right now. They're trying to get to work. They can't get to work. They can't live their life. Why the fuck would they have any empathy for you? It doesn't even make sense. I have no problem with people protesting. And in fact, I yesterday, and this is actually a, a pretty, uh, pretty weird thing that's happened. Um, so I and Okay, okay. But everything I know how simplistic and dumb Asmongold is, he's probably gonna justify his position by saying that he was okay with some kind of previous protest that happened some, you know, while ago or whatever. That's, that's the level of simple-mindedness we're dealing with here. And I'll, I'll even say, th this is gonna really maybe upset people. But I'll say it right now. If I had to say which group I think is more wrong, I think Israel's more wrong. <gasps> I'm more pro-Palestine than pro- Holy shit, he actually picked a side. I did not expect that. Israel. That doesn't mean that Palestine hasn't done anything wrong. Ah, uh, uh, let's, let, let's tone it down and justify it slightly, you know? But I am. I, I just don't think you should stand in the road. No, that's true. Yeah, and, and I'm not saying, guys, it, this is not like a good guys and bad guys. I think they're both bad guys in a lot of ways. But uh, especially, you know, like... Okay. I mean, pick a side and then then, then completely downplay it to irrelevant picking again. Like, a, okay. what do you call it? Like killing innocent people. I mean, there it is. I'm pro-America, fuck them both. Sure, yeah, I understand that. But um, there has been a lot of, uh, what do you call it? There has been a lot of conversations what about this. Pro-Hamas idiots at UT discover what happens when you try to pull Columbia and Texas. And this is our our, our governor here, uh, Texas, my governor. Uh, arrests being raided right now will continue until the crowd disperses. These protesters belong in jail. Anti-Semitism will not be tolerated in Texas, period. Uh, students joining hate-filled anti-Semitic protests at any public college or university in Texas should be expelled. Uh, so I completely disagree with the governor here. I think that whenever I look at a lot of the videos of the UT protests, I think everybody is behaving in a generally uh, law-abiding manner. I completely support those protests, and I think that our governor is totally fucking off base. I think that this, how is this not a First Amendment violation? And I understand some people might be getting a little- Did he, did he get this from the quartering that it's a First Amendment? Does he know what's the First Amendment? He- he doesn't know what's the third and fourth amendment, so why would he know what's the first one? A little bit of a uh, whip. No, which one was about the right to bear arms? Yeah, that one. He doesn't know about that one, so I, why would he know about the the first one? Flash for this, like, oh wait, I thought you said it's not, it, it it's bad to protest. No, I support protesting, absolutely, and. Uh. Yeah, I don't know who would have thought that he said it's bad to protest in general. I mean, we're talking about a very specific thing. If you're gonna... Yeah, I, I get that Asmongold is a dish clot, you know? A cockroach eating chicken. But at the end of the day, you, you can't generalize him. I also don't really think if anyone just blatantly generalized him like that. Oh, 
because you're against one protest, all protests are bad. He was just pro another protest here. He's 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 against people sitting in the road, but he's pro Second Amendment because he can't explain the difference between them. As I said, I even support the majority of what this cause is for. Not all of it, but the majority of it. However, God, I wish he just uh, explain what, what, why, why is this good? Explain, explain what is good about this cause. Because if we believe what the, what is written here, anti-Semitic, these people were just being racist for no reason. Now, obviously, there's plenty of reasons, but you know, just basing on this, I, I, I want an explanation. Like, why do you support this, and why do you not support it? Like, can we ever get a reason to your actions, not just a good things good, bad things bad type of deal, or f fill in the blanks? Get out of the fucking road. Get out of the fucking road. Like, what are you doing? Is it possible a school doesn't want them to, so then they are trespassing? That's between the school and the government. And that doesn't have any- That's not between the school and the government, that's first of all. Uh, two, I think that's a completely false because a campus is a publicly accessible space or whatever it's called. There's no private signs and people are supposed to be allowed to just move there freely. Either you are, by the way, a part of the school facility, uh, school staff or a student there. You're so, th no, they, I'm pretty sure they can't do that. Not 100% sure, but pretty sure they can't. Anything to do with them being protesters or not. Everybody has a right to decide why somebody is on their private property other than a discriminatory reason. So uh, they have every right to make that decision. And imagine they're doing this to avoid having a school shut down like Columbia, though. People are paying money to attend their classes and learn. I don't think that they should try to shut down the school because that's infringing on other people's ability to go about their daily lives. I think that to the extent that people hijack something and then they say, basically, we are holding this hostage until you give us what you want, what we want. I feel like most people in the public at large doesn't respond well to a hostage situation. Okay, okay. So let's contextualize this even a little bit more. So... Let's look back at the people sitting in the roads. Well, they are, in this case, uh, fighting ag against the fact that other people over the seas are getting mistreated and whatnot. Because, well, again, you just said people have no right to infringe on their daily activities, and America is doing that, and so people are angry. But wait. You said that, you know, they're 6,000 kilometers away or whatever, right? So that doesn't matter. So why do you care about uh, about someone in your country that's probably 100 miles away from you or, I don't know, pick a random number here. Why do you care about them? Because again, what's the difference between, you know, 6,000 miles or a different state? You should not care by your own words because it's just too far away on the other side of your country. You're never seeing these people, you see? Rules for me... Well, rules for D, but not for me in this case, is, is going on here. When this is happening here, Asmongol has the full right to care about this, because they're infringing on other people's daily activities, but it's when it's going 6,000 uh, 6, miles in a different uh, location, that's too far and you shouldn't care about those people's uh, daily routines being negatively impacted by, you know, the government's decisions. Again... It's, you're advocating for the same thing for one group because you like them and then uh, and not for the, uh, the a different group because you don't care about them. That's not how these things should work. This is not what you call a thought out position. And at that point, like Hamas or Israel is not the enemy, you are. You are the enemy right now. You are directly affecting negatively their life. So they're not kind of getting boring, though. January 6th or for the Canada truckers that wanted to have the January 6th protesters. And uh, let's be honest, in a lot of cases, insurrectionists uh, put in jail. These people have no principles. They have no morals. They have no ethics. And the only thing they care about is getting what they want.
And the funny and ironic thing about that... I don't know what he's talking about. January 6th protesters or people who don't like the protesters? Is that... But is I would it? argue that obstructing cars and stopping people from... Tell this on Twitter, I thought it was interesting. Politico, what is okay? An organizer with uh, King's Southern Christian Leadership Conference declared, we will tie up public transportation by laying our bodies prostrate on the runways, runways of airports across railroad tracks and bus depots. This degree of disorder was too much even for King, who walked back the staffer's comments. Wow. So, yeah. Let's listen to Martin Luther King. Great idea. This King actually wanted change, not to uh, not to become a... Wait, so... This is Martin Luther King? Okay, so... Wait, but King... But using these words, you just justified people blocking traffic. I'm so... I, whatever. It's, it's Asmongold. The Joe Rogan of the stupid, everyone. It is what it is. And whenever you are in an argument with an Asmongold viewer, remember. The easiest way to get them sh uh, shutting up is just asking, what's your job and income? Because most of them are going to be too afraid to say that they either don't have a job or they're minimum wage McDonald's employees. Ah, hilarious.